Hi, today I'm here with two of my favorite people, and we're going to talk about some life hacks. What can you do to make your life more efficient, more effective? So I have a couple of questions for you. Um, one question I have is, as a business owner and as an entrepreneur, I want maximum productivity in my life. What kind of tools do you offer for that? First of all, I would like to um, welcome you in Practice Horror Studio in Wilmette, Chicagoland. I'm very excited to have our pilot video. And uh, just to be short, as a business owner, <laughs> uh, to you who is a business owner and um, coming to our place to ask this question, there's three things that you should have. First, you should have stability psychological stability and physiological stability. What it means that physically you're strong enough to support any of the idea and you could support it for the length of your needs to get to the result. Second, you have to have attention that would focus towards the result as long as you need. And as a business owner of Practice Hora, I could say the strength of your attention lays within the body a strong, stable body. And the third thing, you have to have a stable stability of your calmness. So calmness is the most crucial component of business making. I am pretty sure that a lot of people could be agree with me. Without inner stability of calmness and health and concentration attention, no business would survive in a long process of overcoming obstacles. That's my answer. Ooh, good answer. Do you have anything you'd like to add? I would second what Svetlana mentioned. Resilience is a trained characteristics. It's not that you're born with it. You have to train it, no matter what your talent is, uh, no, no matter how good you are, your calmness from the beginning, this skill needs to be continuously trained and honed to improve uh, ability to scale. Scale require, requires external scale, requires internal scale. To scale internally, you've got to have that grit, and that grit requires the training of calmness, training of attention inside the body. Okay. Now, because I know you two, I know that it is possible to train calmness, to train resilience. But a year ago, I might not have believed that. What, how do you actually train calmness? Is it suppression of what it is that's bothering you? Or what is it? Uh, wonderful question, Heather. Um, practice for these basic principles is training the stability of the body, stability of your attention, and stability of your calmness. In order to do that, a very simple principle is pushing in resistance. Within this mode of pushing in resistance, you training two types of attention that comes into one. One type of attention is environmental attention. It's like a woman. She sees the environment. She sees the point that she needs to get to and she could focus towards this point. In both attentions, you need your strength. In order to find the strengths, we have a specific exercises that would get you in total balanced stability. Within this total balanced stability, your attention, two types of attention, environmental and focus attention, get into one, connected into your physical self, and then your calmness would let you keep going. Each exercise, our exercises are very short, so it would be easier for you not to get tired and very exact. And then through those training of going on exercises, you will be able to see yourself through the stable body, calm mind, and sharp thoughts. And then you can go on for your day. And that's how you wouldn't believe it in the beginning. And then it's just a simple technique. Yes, I would uh, uh, elaborate a little bit farther. To believe, it's meaning you have to experience 
our, our practice is not necessarily about belief. It's about an experience. Once you experience what it means to have lightness, what it means to have vitality, what it means to have easiness inside of your body, you start having the feeling that, oh, I feel useful again. Calmness is a training of mobilization. What Svetlana mentioned, we train evolutionary brands mobilization. Mobilization that allows person to sustain and stay in a zone of calmness where you are in a decision moment, but you already have a different type of connection between mind, body, and nervous system. And this different connection allows you to retain calmness longer because uh, no term that you and I know, such as resilience or grief or uh, sustainability can exist without calmness. Calmness is the foundation of those characteristics. In order to have them, you have to know how to train this. And this is what practice Aura does. It's a new method. It's a new teaching how you can train calmness. That's one of the teachings that we have for practice Aura. Okay. Well, that sounds wonderful. Um, I Let me clarify for a minute because I have a personal experience here that I think replicates that. And in, in terms of changing the connection between mind, body, and nervous system, um, previously I might have a, uh, like a startle reaction or maybe a negative reflex to something. And through the exercises, I've learned to observe what happens and allow my body to not react to that, even previously it felt subconscious to me. Is that an example? Um, because uh, as you said in the beginning of our uh, interview, that we're gonna give a live hacks. And just not to explain too much because our time is limited, I would like to give a live hack that we're just gonna do along with those who are gonna watch us in the future and would be able to do the same along with us. Every single time when you feel stopped, when you feel at lost, when you feel uh, unsure, and you sometimes could be paralyzed by those type of feeling and sensations, the life hack from the founder of the practice for and that we're gonna do now is a very simple technique. Just like all our classes is a number of techniques that you can use in life. That is what, what the most important about practice work. So this technique called a meditative mobilization calmness technique. Meditative mobilization calmness technique. So all you have to do, you take a representation of your mind, your hands, because everything that we do is by the hands, we do it together. Uh, without thinking, you place this hand on the chest where it would lay naturally. You push it down a little, connecting it to your feet. And then you look at the hand from the inside and let your mind flow with your breathing. Just three cycles are good enough. And then you slowly release and you would find yourself at the state where, where you lose the lost you. <laughs> so basically what happened at this moment, as soon as your attention find the mobilization state, the stability through the body, your calm instinctual breathing that belongs only to, to each and one of all of us would take you from weakness into the strength. So the state of unsureness would be exchanged to the ready to move state. So calmness in action is one of our signature exercises. <laughs> so this life hack could help you to find yourself in a productive state while you feel not as productive as you would like to be. That's my Great life hack. for any business person. Anybody at all. Students, yeah. 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 Uh, those who just feel um, discouraged in any way, they could, they could turn it around right at the moment. And the more you do it, the better you get at it. 
it offers the opportunity to reset, reset the flow of thoughts, reset the flow uh, that's happening inside of me. This exercise is an exercise of calmness. It's designed to regain at least your attention. And through training and practice for this exercise becomes more valuable and more effective. It becomes more of a tool for you that you can use at any moment of time. You know, for me, when I learned that, I I heard of things similar, but the real difference was the attention and the connection between the hands and the feet so that you feel like your entire body is involved. And I know there's more to it than that, but although it looks similar to other things, it feels entirely different. We should invite our audience to uh, open class uh, oh. so people could come and actually experience this exercise on themselves along with other exercises that we do because we are a psychophysical training method, which is implies there are exercises from through the physical body through intellect that unites mind, body, and nervous system in a new connection that was not exist before. That's great. Do you want to say when and where the classes are? But usually we have open class on Saturdays at 9 a.m. Uh, if it doesn't work for a, for an individual, you, a person could schedule a better time for them on our calendar come to our site for usa.com uh, on the I front page. I'll repeat it one more time. Yes. H-O-R-A <laughs> USA. Oh, it's actually right there. Yeah. Yeah. Usa.com. <laughs> and one thing I would like to add from what Heather said, I like the component of calmness and consciousness, which is attention. So connect, connected attention to the body give your mind a conscious level of seeing yourself while you are usually can't like a harsh situation. Your mind is kind of like dissolved in the harshness of it. So our practice give a person, any person, a capability of consciously changing the outcome of every action in the future. So you are building your life within your own self, with your own hands, and you say, I'm responsible for my future. And what I see is the result. I'm attracted to it in the perspective of the future and as the result when you get into the future looking back and say i find the right method for myself that's how i see practice for a whole minute of intensity i love that absolutely love it thank you so much it was a wonderful time for us together in the practice for our center uh, practice for usa studio and uh, we would love to see more of your questions that represents Great. all of the public 